The fittest winner is not just a journey of six contestants. It's a journey of six contestants and all of you, the online participants. We are doing this together. We are striving to be great together. Hi, I'm Tiffany Roth and welcome to The Fittest Winner, an eight week reality TV weight loss challenge. I will take you, the online participant and six contestants on a journey to be fit, fierce, and together we will conquer the battle of the bulge, we will have fun, we'll stay committed, we'll eat healthy. All you have to do is sign up with me at thefittestwinner.com, follow this show, and you will be on the road to greatness. Okay, Raw Stars, we are here kind of recapping what happened with Brett Hold on this 20 minute workout. It was incredible. Did you guys love the workout? Yes. yes. It was it so was hot. So we were like sweating. We did the capoeira. It was really nice. So don't forget to check him out. And he was part of the challenge that we had, the lifestyle challenge, to step outside of your comfort zone because you only really change when you get uncomfortable. So the exercise of the week was to do something that you've never done before. So now we're gonna find out what the girls did and how it made them feel. I went underwater, like I'm very afraid. I'm not a swimmer. I go in the water, but I don't like being submerged in water. So that's what I did. I was very afraid, but I did it. And I did it more than once, I did it like 10 times. Wow. So, so what did you feel like after you did the first time? I felt like a conqueror. Like I was just like, wow, I can't even believe I did it once. My challenge, something that I've never done before, is that I ran outside with just a sports bra on top. There was no top of any kind. <laughs> and I have a midsection issue. I do not like it. I feel like blocky and just not. Even when I was very fit, I, I would never go out with just a sports bra. But when I went out, there was a bunch of people there and they didn't care. Mm -hmm. Nobody was looking at me. Nobody was like, oh my God, look at that woman. <laughs> but it was just, it was all inside my head. It was very much inside my head. Right, and that's one of the things you know about redefining fitness. If your body doesn't fit into some particular mold or viewpoint, does that mean that you're not fit, healthy, and beautiful? No, it just means that you're unique and different. And so one of the things that we wanna do on The Fittest Winner is to learn how to celebrate ourselves, celebrate our unique differences. And a lot of times if you have an area that you wanna work on, that can be your little motivating factor. But you motivate it from a position of love. You know what, I've never done like a jungle gym, like exercise before. And we got to the jungle gym and I was like, I can do this. So I like climbed up halfway and that was as far as I went for like 30 minutes. Like, I was like stared at it. But the combination of heights and like holding myself up, I'm like I can't do it. Yeah. But it was fine. Okay. Same. All you have to do is start to do it. The more that you hold yourself up, the more you'll be able to get up and be strong. Yeah. Like, I went on a run, a one and a half hour run, um, but it's still wearing sweats and looking at the ground the whole time. Um, I wore shorts, mm -hmm. really short shorts. And um, that just took me out of my comfort zone because I'm really self-conscious about my thighs when running. I normally don't expose them. First, it was uncomfortable for me looking down at my thighs and running and saying, okay, there's people out. Like, they're looking at me right now. <laughs> After that, towards the end of it, I was looking up and you know saying hi to people. Oh, excuse me, like oh. using my words, yeah. and, like, moving out of the way, um, and just keep going. I actually found myself running faster. So I actually did two different challenges. Okay. One was last weekend, um, and that one was surfing. Mm -hmm. Something I've been wanting for wow. a long time, but I kept making excuses. I kept saying, you know, where am I going to get a surfboard from? Mm -hmm. Is it worth it to invest in a wetsuit? Yeah. Six, seven in the morning. It was freezing. It was dying. It was so cold. Just getting in the water was like the worst feeling. I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's so cold. And I just forced myself to go in. It was really difficult. Like yeah. just the paddling and the resistance against the waves. Like when that happens and you get caught under a wave, don't tense up your yeah. body. Because it's so natural to be like, oh my god. And you're like trying to get out of the water. So instead, she's like, relax your body, which is really hard to do. Well, I have to come in. That cold water challenge, woo! <laughs> That's the time when you get like stars and stripes for getting into the water at the Pacific Ocean at 4 a.m. Yeah. Our goal is for the fittest winner is to step into our greatness, and you guys all did that, so you all get a prize from this week. Woo!
And remember, you OPs are going to get a prize too, so I will never forget about you. This week's OP winner is Esmeralda Benavente. So this is something that's really important for you guys to remember, that when you are in a challenge, sometimes as you get close to the end, it gets a little bit more difficult. So I have brought in a rock star reinforcement. She is a successful actress, mother, wife, business entrepreneur, Nicole Ari Parker. Oh. Come on up. <laughs> all of the things that I just described, she has also done a fitness competition after she had two kids and won. So the fact that she is so all of that, at 40, at 40 yes. okay? Wow. The fact that she is so all of that, I brought her in to give some words of advice to you OPs and to the contestants on how to stay strong and keep going with these final legs and final steps of the challenge. Take it away. I find that the whole idea of letting go brings the thing that you want. You know how your mom would always say, if you want the guy to call, leave the house. Yeah. If you stay by the phone, it won't happen. Yeah. You know, and that, she's right. Those last 14 days before you reach your goal um, are very challenging because by that point, you feel really good. Everybody here has had some progress. At this point, you've, you've climbed the mountain. Now you need to coast. Now that morning workout needs to be like, you know, regular. Like you don't even think about it. You measure out your carbs, you go to work, you do what you have to do to get the workout in. And you stop thinking about it. And literally seven, 10 pounds just come off. But I want to talk about something else. Okay. Not only is she like the best mom ever, she's an entrepreneur. She actually created her own product and it's great for, you know, I got my do right now, like, you know, it's kind of flying up right here because I'm working out. And it's called Save Your Do. I wanted to create something that actually really absorbed the sweat. Yes. So I created a three layer band in my kitchen. I pulled together all this stuff, you know, I cut up my husband's workout shirt <laughs> and I put a little silk piece in there and then a little bit of cotton and then I tried to play with all these things and then I created this prototype and tested it on my friends yeah. and it took off. And I brought all of you on. Remember your winning mindset. Remember when you put this on, you're putting your positivity on, and you're making sure that whatever your thoughts are, you reflect and you remember Nicole, you remember her successes, her inspiration. She took time out to come here to show us how to go the extra mile and finish strong. Get your savior dues, and remember the winning mindset will take you on your journey to greatness. Hey, Raw Stars. This week's recommendation is how to have a fit body and fabulous hair. I know you guys have seen me on the show where I have my hair all done up. It's silky and shiny and bouncing and behaving. But I want to tell you, in the workout world, that look is so Hollywood. It's not reality. Once I start working out, my hair gets kind of fuzzy. It starts to, you know, kind of go back home. It's frizzy. And I can't really rock that bouncy, bouncy look. So I have found an amazing solution. And I'm going to share with you. It's my best kept secret. It's called Nappy Hair Extensions. That's right, I just clip the hair in, it matches my texture, and it gives me the versatility I want to keep fabulous hair while I'm working out. It gives me options, and I don't have to worry about keep pressing my hair or trying to make it, you know, silky. I just let it be itself. The other thing I can do is change my look anytime I want. I take the braid out after I work out, it just kind of flows, exotic and fun, and I feel like I'm having fabulous hair right after a workout. I'm gonna share with you three of my other favorite looks because you know what? I don't want you guys using your hair as an excuse not to do your Tiffany Roth workouts. I mean, it happens to me. You get your hair done, you're like, oh, maybe I'll wait a couple days. You don't have to wait. You can still be fabulous right after your workout. I'm gonna show you my back to business hairstyle, my booty shaking on the town date night, and the bohemian chic ponytail.
Hey Raw Stars, so you no longer have to choose between your workout or your hair. You can have a fit body and fabulous hair with the Nappy Hair Extension. If you want to get some for yourself, they come in the mail in about two days and all the information is in the description box below. See you next time. Okay, so we're here for the Fit Challenge of the Week, but I have got a surprise for you. I've got my girl here, Nicole Ari Parker, who's going to do this with us. This challenge is about femistine. This challenge is about building your confidence, being sexy in your own body, and loving yourself. When you walk into a room, people don't see your insecurities unless you show them. People should see you being confident and strong and proud and loving yourself. So that's what this week's challenge is about, your sexy strut. All you OPs out there, I want to see those videos of your sexy strut on my Instagram page. So this is how it goes. You're going to go up your toes like this, and you're going to cross one foot and cross the other. And you're going to strut. I want to see your personality. I want to see you loving yourself.